Hi, kindergarten, first and second grade leaders. We are preparing for Easter Sunday, April 21st, as we celebrate Jesus is alive. He is alive indeed. How exciting to celebrate that together today. Before we get started, your social activity today, it, you have some you should have four buckets per small group and two bags of eggs with some spoons in them. I have to place my spoon. And what you're going to do is take the buckets and separate them. Um, two buckets will get eggs in them. Two buckets will be empty. And you're going to put the two buckets that are empty um, away from the bucket, probably five or six feet at least, away from the bucket that has eggs in it. And then you're going to separate the kids into two teams. And the teams are going to do this relay style, picking up the eggs with their spoon and taking them and putting them in the other bucket. Now, this is a minute to win it game. So use your phone to set a timer for one minute and see how many eggs they can get into the other bucket in that one minute time frame. Taking turns, everybody getting a chance to do one egg at a time. Um, the kids with the most eggs in the other bucket are the winners, but you can give prizes to everybody. You will have some stickers. Um, you could also have some um, candy. Uh, we'll probably have bags of candy for you at that time that you can share with, with the kiddos. Just what they need, more Easter candy, right? All right. And then um, we'll do large group, and we're going to talk about Jesus' resurrection and um, the significance of that. Then you will move into small group. And you will have these um, cardboard cutouts that say he lives and a little um, sticker sheet for each kid because our theme has had jelly beans with it. Um, you'll have a little sticker sheet like this that the kids can use their stickers to put on their he lives and then they're going to use their markers to decorate this. Now, um, once it's decorated, it's meant to be folded accordion style so that they maybe could share it with somebody later. And what we want them to do is go home and talk about what they know about Jesus being alive. So when it gets all folded up, it'll be just like that. And then they can take it home and celebrate with their loved ones. They could also, if they make it pretty enough, or if they really like it, um, could display that on the Easter table while you guys are eating your Easter meal together. So um, that should be a fun activity. It's also one of those activities that allow you time to have discussion while the kids are working on their um, on their project, on their Easter project. Um, so use your discussion questions. Um, help help maybe some of your kids process what they know about Jesus. Um, help them if they don't if they haven't been with us for a while, and you're going to know which kids are with us and which ones are new. Um, if they've been with us a while, maybe remind them of all of the things we've learned so far. And why is it significant that Jesus rose from the dead on Easter Sunday? And why do we celebrate that? And what are we celebrating exactly? So use the craft time as a time to, to continue to build that relationship. Those relationships have been so important to so many of our kids. I know I've heard you talk about many of the things that you've learned from kids in that time. So continue to encourage them. Thank you for leading and loving them well. Happy Easter, and I will see you guys again soon.